guys, it's Miss Beyond Ayana back with another video. Alright, so today is part two of my mini series, Insecure, where I share some of my insecurities that I have had in the past and still may occur sometimes in the back of my mind. So if you're interested in seeing more, let's get right into this. So throughout the time that I was being bullied, I didn't really have that many friends. I would have like one or two people that I would consider real friends at the time. And, you know, sometimes acquaintances, but the friendships never really last that long. And I never had like a big group of friends. Like I always wanted, so, a lot of the times I would just ask myself, why don't people like me? I really thought it was something wrong with me. Maybe the way that I presented myself, the type of conversation that I would have. But I also realized I'm a very shy individual. I don't really say much. Um, it's mostly if you talk to me, then I'll start talking to you and once I really get an idea of who you are and like your personality like I really open up and I become this extremely fun person to talk to. So over time when I was starting to empower myself and understand why I was being bullied, um, I understood why people quote unquote didn't like me and honestly a lot of people have told me they were scared to talk to me before we ever became friends or acquaintances or whatever it was. A lot of people said that they were scared to talk to me because they didn't know what type of person I was. They thought I would be really mean, um, mostly because of my facial expression, just my resting face. It intimidates some people, that's what people tell me. Um, and it's nothing intentional. Most of the time, I'm just in my own world, thinking about music or what I want to eat for lunch or just daydreaming, honestly. So now I understand that people just feel uncomfortable with my resting facial expression. And I do try and work on that, you know. I want to appear more friendly to people because I am very nice. Um, especially when you get to know me, you know that I'm very personable and I have this really bubbly personality. So now I just tell myself, you know, everything is okay and it's not like troublesome to not have a huge group of friends. I just think that it's important to one, be friends with yourself first and foremost and to have close people around you. Um, especially because like I'm a private person, I don't really share too much um, except for what I tell you guys on YouTube, but I just want people that understand me and want to get to know me. Those are the type of friends that I want. So, you know, if you go through anything similar or you feel like you don't have true friends, it'll come. It'll come. Just stay and remain authentic to you. and everything will work out. So that is part two. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down below. You can reach me on all of my social media platforms as well as email me at missneonbiayana at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon next to it so you can get all of my post notifications and you won't miss any of my videos ever. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.